Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C project on the topic search engine. So, first we'll see the requirements of this project. First, we require an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, we require a text editor where we are going to write a code. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but I have used here VS Code. Third, an operating system is required. You can use any operating system, but I have used here Windows 10. There are no external libraries used in this project. This is a very simple code to implement the search engine. Then the header files which are used are IO stream, vector, map, string, and algorithm. Now let's move to the code part and we'll see what it has for us. I've already written down the code for you. Here we have included all the header files first. The IO stream, vector, map, string and algorithm. Then we have the standard line using namespace std. Then we are here to define a structure to represent a document. It is a struct named document where we have an integer id and a string content. Then there is a function to tokenize a document into words. So we have vector, first vector, then tokenize constant strings text which is a parameter which is given to the function. Then we have a vector string of tokens, then a string token, then we are going to run a for each loop where the character c begins from 0 and goes till the length of the text. Then we are going to check a particular condition if the whatever we are going to do, if it is present in the document, then as vector we are going to push back to the lower case. Else, if the document is not empty, then we are going to put all the values of the tokens to the tokens array or the tokens vector. Then we are going to clear the token in each case. Then, if token is not empty, then we are going to do tokens dot push back then token. Then what we are going to do is we are going to create a function to build an inverted index from a collection of documents. We have used a map here and uh, we have called the built inverted index function where we are going to take the parameters as the vector document and the address of the documents. Then we are going to map each and every document token to the document ID. Then we are going to put the document content into the tokens. Then we are going to have the inverted index array and we are going to push back the document.id. Then we are going to revert uh, return the inverted index. Then there is a function to search for documents containing a query term. First we are going to have the query inside the query token. Then we have a vector named result. Then what we are going to do, we are going to transform the query token from beginning to end. Again beginning then to the lower. So this is basically the inverted index counting loop. So if the inverted index count will be greater than 0, then result will be at the inverted index query token. This is a main function. In the main function, we have the sample documents as 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the first document, second, third, and the another document. Then we are going to build the inverted index. How we are going to build it? We are going to map it, the string to the vector, integer vector. Then we are going to search for a document where we have to enter the search for the query after which we are going to check if the document is present or not. If the document is present well and good it says matching documents are this and if it's not found it says no matching documents found. So now let's run and see. So I have run the code for you. It's running running enter a search where you say 1. It says no matching documents found. Because this document is not there in the list. So, I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.